<laughs> hey y'all, it's me Trish. I am the witch of the dismal swamp. How's everybody doing? All right, y'all want to see the card I drew for the day? There it is. It is the nine of cups. So what do y'all think that means for me for the day? Hmm. Mm hmm. All right. What is this video? This is about yarrow. Okay, I had to go out. I went out and picked all the flowers for my yarrow. And then I let them dry out. I have a yellow or yarrow. I'd love to get the other colors too. And I've ground some up for my magical purposes. And some of these I'm going to see if I can use them for um, medicinal. Okay. Because I look at both sides of the spectrum here. I like medicinal and magical. And that was what made me want to do these videos to give y'all both sides of the rainbow here. We got Scott Cunningham's book that I'm going to read y'all about yarrow. And then I'm going to read the other book about the medicinal side. So, are y'all ready? I'm going to try not to be so talkative, y'all. I know everybody don't like hearing me talk, but that's just me, okay? I'm sorry. Well, not sorry. <laughs> I do like to talk, though, for real. All right, now, let me show you. Let me show y'all. I'm going to read this to y'all, but let me give you a little word of warning, okay? I don't know how to say these botanical names or these scientific names for certain things. So what I'm going to do, instead of butchering the, the words, I'm going to just skip the words. I really don't like doing that in case some of y'all, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's somebody out there that knows the words and what it is and all that, but if I can't say it, you know, but I can try, but we'll see when I get to it, okay? Now, the botanical name for yarrow, at least if, that is if I don't butcher it, is Achillea millifolium. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. <laughs> All right, now, what is the folk names for yarrow? Achiuia, okay, A-C-H-I-U-E-A, -E Ua, Achiua, arrowroot, okay, and then it's got parentheses, although yarrow is not what is commonly referred to as an arrowroot, okay, then it's got bad man's plaything, mm -hmm. Carpenter's Weed, Death Flower, Devil's Nettle, Earring, Field Hops, Gear Wee, Hundred Leaved Grass, Night's Millful, Nighten, Nighten, Lady's Mantle, Millifol, Militarius, Military Herb, Millifolium, Noble Yarrow, Nosebleed, Old Man's Mustard, Old Man's Pepper, Sanguinary, Seven Years Love, Snake's Grass, Soldier's Wound Wart. Okay, that right there, Soldier's Wound Wart, would tell me that there is medicinal sides to this. Staunch Gris, Stance Weed, Tansy, Thousand Seal, Wound Wart and Yarrow Way and I don't know this Yer Y E R W. What is that word, y'all? <laughs> you tell me. What is how do you say it? All right. As gender is feminine. Feminine. <laughs> A planet is Venus and the water is the element. Powers are courage, love, psychic powers, and exorcism. The magical uses. When worn, yarrow protects the wearer, and when held in the hand, it stops all fear and grants courage. I need to grab a handful to give me courage to get through this <laughs> without screwing it up. All right. A bunch of dried yarrow hung over the bed or yarrow used in wedding decorations ensures a love lasting at least seven years. Yarrow is also used in love spells. 
Caring y'all not only brings love, but it also attracts friends and brings, wait a minute, and distant relations you wish to contact. It draws the attention of those you most want to see. The flowers are made into an infusion and, and the resulting tea is drunk to improve psychic powers. So you make yourself a tea with it and it will help improve your psychic powers. Washing the head with yarrow infusion will prevent baldness, but it will not cure if you're already bald. Okay, it's not going to help that. It will help you from getting there, but once you're there, you're there. Yarrow is also used to exercise evil and negativity from a person, place, or thing. All right, that is the end of Scott Cunningham's Yarrow, okay? Let's put that over yonder. <laughs> now we're going to uh, the medicinal side, which I got out of this book. All right. All right, y'all ready? Okay, this is where the time comes in, so I'm going to try not to talk, okay? I'm going to try. All right, Yarrow Oil. Yarrow, once a sacred plant in ancient China was valued as the perfect unification of yin and yang energies. Since the hard, strong stem is filled with soft substance, in fact, the 64 wooden sticks in the I Ching ritual, which is used in China to make key decisions, were made from the yarrow stem. Well, isn't that interesting? All right. Yarrow's Latin name, here we go, y'all. Achillea milliforium. I think I did pretty good on that one. <laughs> All right. Whew. Honors Achilles, a Greek hero of the Trojan Wars. Achilles. All right. It said he cured his injured Achilles tendon with this powerful plant. So think about that. He he healed his Achilles tendon with yarrow. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. Native to both Europe and Asia, the perennial grows to a height of three feet and bears fragrant feathery leaves with yellow, pink, or white flowers. Now mine is yellow. I would love to get the other two, the pink and white ones. Anyway... And you think about it, this this grows to be three foot tall. I'm 4'11". So, Yarrow's almost as tall as I am. The oil, which is extracted by steam distillation, is an age-old remedy for fevers, skin irritations, wounds, varicose veins, arthritic pain, digestive problems, nervous tension, and respiratory infections. That's a lot. For one plant, right? Wow. I'm going to get my highlighter out on this one. Vapors from yarrow oil are also believed to help balance opposing energies. Mm-hmm. Assist in setting goals and increase a sense of security, making it useful during life transitions. Now, think about that. Didn't Scott Cunningham said that gives you courage and it's good for exorcisms? So you're balancing the opposing energies and you're bringing and strengthening your mental clarity and your sense of security. There you go. So the two books are going together. All right. Use during meditation. The oil strengthens mental clarity and supports intuitive energy. Ugh, I love it. I love y'all row so far, y'all. What do y'all think? Are y'all taking notes? I got my pen right here. <laughs> I am going to be taking me some notes, y'all. I'm going to highlight and take some notes. Matter of fact, I'm thinking I might start me a, um, I'm, I, I got a book in my big Amazon cart. Because <laughs> I got a lot of stuff in my Amazon cart. But I am going, I got a book, actually three different books in there I want to order. And it's all on essential oils. And some of it is for magical and some of it's for medicinal because I, I'm, I love this, you know, I am so into this. And I just thought, my whole thing is I wanted to share it with everybody. Because 
I mean, if I can read it to you, why buy the book? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Take your notes, man. Saving money. All right. Let's continue. For skin conditions. Yellow? Yellow. Uh, I'm thinking of the color of my plant, my flowers. Yarrow oil helps relieve skin inflammation, blemishes, acne, itching, and sunburn. Maybe it'll help that farmer's tan. Because <laughs> I get farmer's tan pretty bad, you know. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Well, you can't with this, but I got one. <laughs> All right. Yara oil is soluble in both alcohol and oil and imparts in sense, its scents in water. So, in other words, it can dis distribute throughout the water. It's not like your oil drops. That's pretty cool to know that, too. I need to get me some yarrow. I don't know if I have any yarrow essential oils. I'm going to have to get them out and find out. It makes an ideal addition to cosmetics, skin lotions, ink, or creams due to its antiseptic, astringent, and anti-inflammatory properties. The camphoraceous, <laughs> camphoraceous, I like that word, camphoraceous, mm. <laughs> Oil can also make a great toner for skin when added to either lotion or spring water. What you're going to do is you're going to add five drops of yarrow, five drops of lavender, and four ounces of spring water. It's fixing the rain, y'all, so if it's getting dark in here, it's because it's getting dark out there. So I think I might need to turn my light on here shortly. Can y'all still see me? <laughs> All right, now we're going to the therapeutic effects. The flavonoids presents in yarrow oil di dilate the peripheral arteries and induce sweating, while alkaloids help to lower your blood pressure. The astringent property of the tannins, tannins in yarrow oil assist in healing wounds. Now, I've heard of that word tannins. Hmm. Okay. Cyanidin. Cyanidin. I hope I said that right, which I probably didn't. Azuline. I like that word too. And salicylic acid poses anti inflammatory effects. Yarrow oil also contains volatile oils, borneol, camphor, Isotomesia, ketone, cinnanil, and terpenil, as well as amino acids, lactones, saponins, coumarins, and sterols. Did y'all understand any of that? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, y'all. In addition, yarrow oil possesses valuable laxative analgesic antispasmodic, carminitiative, and expectorant stimulant and antiseptic effects. Now, maybe I'm not looking so crooked. <laughs> it was like, beep. <laughs> All right, for acne, you know, them zits. All right, you're going to add three drops each of yarrow bergamot oils to a boiling pot of hot water. You're going to let it simmer for two minutes, and then you're going to place this, the pot onto a safe place that's not going to burn your counter or anything. Put it on a pot holder or something. And you're going to put a towel over your head and let it get into your pores. Okay? And then what you're going to do, you're going to let it sit there as long as you can possibly sit there and let your skin absorb the, the fumes, the vapors from the oils and the water. And then you're going to, or, well, it's another option. If you don't want to do the pot, you know, thing with the towel over your head, you can take a warm compress and add two drops each of yarrow, bergamot, and chamomile. And apply it to your skin. Okay? You do that every single day. 
and it will help clear your acne up. For stretch marks, ooh, I need about a gallon. <laughs> to help reduce stretch marks on, and scars, rub several drops of yarrow oil on the affected areas every day. I've got a lot of scars on me. <laughs> All right, and I stretch marks too. I, I'm not left out on that category either. For digestive complaints, for constipation or sluggish digestion, blend a few drops of yarrow oil and one ounce of sweet almond oil and gently massage it into the abdomen and repeat as needed. To support meditation, yarrow oil's balancing effect on the mind assists meditation and can deepen awareness. Reactions in some individuals for those who with sensitive skin. Wait a minute. I'm reading the next paragraph without finishing the first one. All right. To help support a more insightful meditation, put three to four drops in a diffuser or on a light bulb ring. Now, question. What is a light bulb ring? Does anybody know? If you know, can you let me know? And if... You know, do they work? You know how you can buy stuff and you get it and you're like, oh, you psyched up about it and then you get it and don't work? Or it ain't what the commercial tells you it is? You know, that kind of thing? Well, anyway, let me know. I, I don't know what a light bulb ring is. Fill me in on that one. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Take care. It says take care, y'all. Okay, yarrow oil can cause skin irritation in people with sensitive skin, in which any oil can do this. That's why you test yourself, you know, do a little test spot, you know, whether it's in here or here. I always do that for something I haven't used, in which I never have in any issues. The only thing that I cannot use is, you know, that medical tape. It burns my skin. That's about the only thing that bothers my skin. Is medical tape or them patches you can put on yourself. I can't do it. Well, anyway, I, that's another squirrel. <laughs> I'm terrible about this shit, man. All right, so in other words, test yourself before you use it. You know, don't rub it in your abdomen and find out you're going to get burned by it or something, you know. Test yourself first, okay? That's a caution. Now, applications. For first aid, yarrow oil is a good addition to any first aid kit, which I'm definitely going to get some to put in mine because I have a first aid kit in which I can never keep band-aids in it because i got grandkids that like every little thing they got to put a band-aid. So, yes, I need to put some in there. You know why? I'm going to tell you why. Because it aids in blood clotting and heals minor skin wounds. So it's good to put in your first aid kit. It, the oil also helps soothe itching from your insect bites. So if you get bit by mosquitoes or whatever, put a little bit of yarrow. All right. You put three drops of yarrow oil on a warm compress and apply it to the cuts as soon as possible after an injury. For bruises, put five to seven drops of oil on the affected area several times a day. So you just put it like, I don't know, you can see that little bruise. I put some right here, five to seven days, or several days, several times a day. You know, put it on your boo-boo, and that's it. All right, follow with a cold compress with 10 drops of yarrow oil for 10 minutes. So you're going to put it on there, then you're going to get a cold compress with 10 drops on the compress, and then hold it there for 10 minutes, okay? All right. For fevers, head colds, and sinus discomfort, yarrow oil induces sweating to help break fevers. That's good to know that, y'all. The vapors also rid the body of excess mucus from respiratory infections, so it's going to help you cough them loogies out, man. Add three drops each of yarrow, eucalyptus, and tea tree oils to a pot of boiling water. Do the towel thing. Don't use aluminum, though. Don't put your oils in an aluminum pot. That's what it says here. Place the pot on a safe surface and lean over it with a towel. And deeply inhale the vapors, and it will help loosen all that gooey shit up 
and this, so you can cough it out, okay? A circulatory stimulant is another thing it's good for. The oil's analgesic properties provide pain relief. It eases swelling and expands blood vessels. As a massage for rheumatism and for arthritis, I need this one. Add three drops each of yarrow, chamomile, and lavender and eucalyptus to eight ounces of sweet almond oil. Now, <coughs> excuse me, you want yarrow, chamomile, lavender, and eucalyptus, okay? Three drops of each to eight ounces of sweet almond oil. And massage it into your shoulders, chest, hips, legs, feet, neck, hands, and arms. Paying attention to any stiff or inflamed areas. So, me, I would just worry about my hands because that's where my real bad arthritis is. And I got it. I call it my wing, but it's really your... What the hell is that part called in your back? where When your arm moves, it moves in your back. It's like I got a brain freeze. <laughs> I call it my wing. Shoulder blade. That's it. That's it. <laughs> it is the shoulder blade. I, I call it my wing because I'm an angel in disguise. <laughs> well, anyway, that is everything that is in here about Yarrow. What do y'all think? Did y'all take notes? If you didn't, go back. And write down some notes. Get yourself some yarrow if you have a first aid kit. And please put some in there. This way it will help clot your blood and disinfect your wounds. So get some. It won't hurt to put it in there, right? All right. That is everything, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something that you didn't know. And if you already knew it, then good for you. I'm glad. All right. I want you all to have a good day, and I will see y'all in my next video. I send y'all so damn much love, and thank you for hanging in there for the 22 minutes that it took me to get this out. All right, y'all. Much love. Toodles.